Well, a Fort Wayne woman wants to share the horrific story of what happened to her dog. She says it was attacked by a coyote in her suburban neighborhood. Fort Wayne's NBC reporter Corinne Rose met her at the emergency vet hospital to learn more. He was out maybe 10 minutes and I started to hear a lot of barking, a lot of weird noises. Kim Bailey says her two and a half year old Yorkie mix, Toby, is lucky to be alive. Last Saturday evening, at about eight and a half pounds, he looked like a good snack for a coyote who dragged him from his electric fenced front yard in Sycamore Hills. Kim found him in the dark a few minutes later. He started bleeding, so I immediately wrapped him in a towel and then rushed him here to the hospital. If these traumas would have occurred a little bit further back or a little bit further forward, he could have broken his neck, he could have sustained trauma that would have punctured lungs, would have been life-ending trauma. Instead, Toby has severe trauma to the muscles of his neck and chest, broken shoulder blades, and puncture wounds all over his torso. He's on a drip of fentanyl and antibiotics. Lots of anxiety, um, just day by day trying to like assess, you know, is he going to be okay? Is he going to be able to come out of this? Um, you know, he's still kind of touch and go right now. There's a couple of wounds on the other side of his body that um, look worse than, than this side. The vet knows it was a coyote because of the size and nature of the bite wounds, as well as the fact that Toby was dragged from his property. In fact, the hospital is treating more and more pets for coyote attacks these days. And I think that's just because we're developing a lot in these rural areas, so these coyotes just don't have anywhere to go. It's not the coyote's fault. He's looking for food. And, you know, it, if we had areas that they could actually be able to, you know, find food naturally and whatnot, but, you know, we're, we're closing in all of their spaces. Dr. Hilliard says coyotes typically hunt as dusk turns to dark and as morning breaks. So she says to keep your pets on a leash, even if you have an electric fence. People don't think about it, especially in these developed neighborhoods. You know, there's a lot of houses, there's a lot of people. They just don't think that coyotes are going to be there, and they are. If Toby continues to respond to his treatment, he could go home by the end of the week with significant follow-up care from his regular vet, and most likely will never be let out without supervision again. Corinne Rose, Fort Wayne's NBC. Poor thing. Dr. Hilliard says one thing we all can do to help keep our pets safe uh, never leave food outside for stray animals. First of all, the coyotes, they'll want to eat that food and then perhaps try to attack the strays. So that's good advice. That poor sweet dog. I know it's hard to look at little Toby's face. Oh. I hope it, he's going to pull through. Fingers crossed. That's what the, the word is, hopefully, and uh, be home by the end of the week. That would be great to hear. Uh, I hope so. We'll, we'll have a follow-up. Yeah. Yeah. Well,